all right so what is going on today youtube and man we got um some special shit going on today now i was just randomly watching a duel um uh on Yu Gi Oh pro and um yeah we came across this murmur player now um it, you can see by the title it, it, it you guys are going to see what's going on but before we start i would like to say if you guys do enjoy this video leave a like Leave a comment and also subscribe if you have not already. And if you guys can, click an ad to help support the channel. Um, thank you guys for why. Uh, thank you guys for subscribing and watching me, man. Just this a little shout out, man. Thank you for 250 subscribers. Um, we're still growing. We're still growing. So let's go ahead and start the duel. As you can see, um, I believe DDDs do start off first, and he does not open up the best hand. And um, you guys can pr pretty much see where this is going if you guys have seen Mermails before. So he does not really do anything the first turn, just leaving himself open just for massive damage. And this is exactly, I'm just going to let this play because you guys are going to just see what's going to happen. Now, this is why uh, I believe Mermails are going to be one of the best decks come Link format because this deck can just, look, that's only one extra deck monster. And he already has game before that. Like this right here is already game. And as you can see, this man is playing, uh, which I don't understand why a lot of people aren't playing. They're not playing multiples. I understand it's a dead draw and stuff like that, but they're so good. He's playing the trap one and the one that negates spells. So I, I don't know if he's playing the effect monster one. Let's see if he is. Let's see if he is. Um, Let me see. He's playing Dinko Seko also with a double summon, which is cool. No, he's not playing the, um, what's the name? He isn't playing the effect negator one, but he is playing double this one that negates traps and the one that negates spells. So he's going to put this at four fucking thousand attack. Now it's a megalope with four thousand attack. And now here we go. This is where all the damage comes from. He already has with this is going to be 46, 46 and 14. That's six thousand. Right. And then he has double attacking megalope. That's at four thousand. So six thousand plus eight thousand is 14,000 damage and this is turn one uh, and then he gets an extra print so that's a 14,800 damage he could have possibly did damn and he could have did more possibly he could have possibly did even more damage which is crazy but uh, I got another one and this is the second du uh, second duel of the mermails now I, I was I started watching them and I was like, oh, let's see what he can else can he do? Because, damn, if you can put over 14,000 damage first turn, that's crazy. So, as you can see, he's playing against Super Heavy Samurai. And now they, they're they doing their plays. Now, this is going to take a minute for the Mermels to start off. As you can see, they didn't open up the greatest of hands. I guess he's just waiting off. So, um, he's just playing it slow right now, just summoning the Kaiju. But he did not open up the greatest hand, even though he possibly, uh, actually, he had game. All he had to do was discard these two. What do you do? Um, you could discard these two, search the... Actually, he couldn't. He didn't have game. Did he? No, he didn't. He did not have game. He could have did a lot of damage, though. He could have did what? What is this? Um, 32 plus 33. That's 65. He could have did 6,500 damage on his first turn and set the Book of Moon and pretty much won from there. But he's just waiting. But this is exactly why I say... That um, become link format. Mermaids are going to be, you know, one of the top tier decks. And as you can see, he drew, he top decked the dragoon, and you guys know it's over. It's completely over after that because watch watch what he does. So he gets a, he gets a dragoon search. He's already got one of the what's name Mermaids. He summons Diva, and Diva's going to get Prince. And this is this card right here is what makes and breaks Mermaids because this card is just is so fucking good for the Mermail. Uh, archetype and then with like with Link summoning, just imagine him having an extra monster that he can just go into. He can synchro into an extra monster to go into. He searched another Mermail Abyss Megalo. So you guys can already see this is probably this is going to be more damage than it is on the first duel. Uh, so he tributes that. So this can already attack twice. Don't uh, forget that. So he's going to get this back and then. Um, by using print effects, he gets <clears throat> the infantry back. And then he uses this second Megalo to pop again to attack twice. So he's going to equip once again. And let's count this up, everybody. This is 8,000. This is 48. So that's 12,800 plus 200, which is 13,000. He has 16,300 damage. Damn. This is this is why, man, Mermails are just... This is really an explosive, powerful deck. A lot of people do not play 
um, because the, you can side against them, but damn, you can't side against 16,300 fucking damage. That is just ridiculous. And, and then I was like, you know what, man, I need to get one against them. So after this duel, I go ahead and find him again. And then I request the duel. And this is how that went. So I end up going up against him. And as you can see, uh, I am playing this D hero deck because it's D hero deck. I was like, ah, I got to pick a deck. What can I play? And I said, you know what? Let's just play this because it's, it's a fun deck going against a fun deck. And let's see. His hand is not it's, it's not the greatest hand, uh, but he does have the Dinko Sega double summon combo. Uh, so let's see. And he's top decking into a Molin Gracie. So, no, he did not have the best hand, but I don't know. Maybe I could have got something. So I'll start off with a lore and I draw into a Vion, which is just going to get me everything. And once again, uh, not once again, but I did mess up. I could have extended even further. But I believe, no, I, I didn't mess up on this turn. I messed up on the next turn. I'm just, as you see here, I'm just going to do the regular plays. I already have a pot of avidity. So right now, I'm just going to draw through my deck just to see where I can get to. Draw into a what's the name deal. But sadly, I draw into two monsters. And guess, yeah, look, 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 I banish. Listen, look, look at that. I banish 10, uh, what's the name? 10 spells and traps. 10 spells and traps. I just banish 10 spells and traps. I think, what is it? six spells yeah six spells four traps like come on i couldn't banish a, a fucking what's the name i don't know why i can't hover over it but it was not letting me hover over it. but as you can see uh it doesn't really matter i'm just going to end with the omega and here i'm thinking all right i may get my shit pushed in i may is this the new one this is the new one huh you could discard discard target one monster destroy one other water monster in hand um like like i said he didn't really have anything and I'm thinking here I'm about to get destroyed. So I use both Beatrice and Omega because I'm like, I'm not finna get Kaiju did anything like that. But he didn't do anything. As you can see, his hand is not too good. It, it's just not too good. And this is where I messed up, even though it was already game. Um, here's where I messed up. Right here, I could have, uh, what's the name? I could have just went into a Mali play and then went into Tozokan. Uh, actually, I'm going to draw first. And then right, this is where I could have went to Zoken. And then set this and got a what's the name off. But I, I preemptively use the fusion substitute. It doesn't really matter because, like I said, I already had game and stuff like that. And so, yeah, man, I was like, let's, let's get a mermail. Sadly, I, I did try to request a, a, another duel, but I don't know what happened. I don't know if he lost connection. I don't know if he quit. I don't know what happened, but it did not go through. So, yeah, man, that is the power of mermails, even though you can brick. So I guess that is a negative, but, but you know, that's with every deck. But this deck is so fucking powerful, man. I, I really believe that this is going to be one of the best decks in uh, the Link format. When Link format does eventually arrive here, this is probably going to be one of the early contenders for the best deck. And I wouldn't be surprised if it does still like a YCS or two. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy that. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another video.